Here in Fernie, the snow is falling and excitement is in the air and on the ice as their brand new outdoor rink is finally open. But there's also a sense of loss here. But just building this new rink, just getting it done, getting back on the ice has brought this community together. In the end, it came right down to the wire. Volunteers frantically hanging lights and flooding the ice at Fernie's brand new outdoor rink. Hastily built after the city's arena was closed following that deadly ammonia leak in October, Fernie's mayor says having something to build and a place to gather is helping her community to heal. Every negative is a positive and this is our positive thanks to everybody. Just three weeks ago, there was only a field where this rink now sits. When people started talking about building an outdoor rink here, Fernie contractor Chuck Shoesmith and an army of local volunteers stepped up. It's all about uh, a place for the kids to skate before Christmas. That was the, uh, that was the driver, and here we are. Shoesmith says the new rink would have cost about a quarter of a million dollars to build, but he says donations and countless volunteer hours mean the actual cost will be closer to 25000 One of the biggest donors, the NHL's Calgary Flames, who pitched in almost $100,000. And we think that that's, you know, not just the gift of ice, but a time period where people could really utilize it. As you can see, this rink is already a very popular place to gather here in Fernie. And that's a good thing because it'll be the only place to play hockey and figure skate here for a little while longer. That's because Fernie's indoor arena remains closed while the province and the RCMP try to figure out just what caused that deadly ammonia leak in October. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Fernie.